take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Soil must be constantly moist. In summer, it should be watered every four days. Use warm soft water. With insufficient watering, the leaves begin to twist and dry up. In winter, watering is limited to one time per week. When the leaves begin to form, the soil must dry between two waterings. Take our lead. Introduce a humidity tray throughout the year to provide a humid, reliable environment. Mist, or gently hose the foliage from time to time to hydrate the leaves. Fertilize using a houseplant labeled feed every four waters in the spring and summer, reducing this to every six in the colder months. Make your mark, take our lead. If you live somewhere that has lower levels of humidity then misting your calathea is a definite must. As calathea are plants used to humid environments, they can dry out and develop crispy leaves if there is not sufficient moisture in the air. A great way to combat this is by misting your calathea. Let's help you make your mark. Like many tropical indoor plants, your calathea prefers a spot with ample humidity. If leaf edges begin to curl or brown up, mist them with lukewarm water on a regular basis, or place a humidifier nearby. Your bathroom or kitchen are perfect spots for your calathea because these areas tend to be more humid. Make your mark, take our lead. Should you cut off dying leaves? Yes. Remove brown and dying leaves from your houseplants as soon as possible, but only if they're more than 50% damaged. Cutting off these leaves allows the remaining healthy foliage to receive more nutrients and improves the plant's appearance. Take our lead. Overwatering, in simple terms, drowns your plant. This results in a limited oxygen supply and plants are not able to breathe. Leaves turn brown and wilt. When plants have too little water, leaves turn brown and wilt. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.